Welcome back, Pokemon Trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number 78 of our Pokemon Pearl playthrough, and this will be the final time I do any grinding to try to take on the champion of this region. If you missed the last few episodes, we have been getting destroyed by Champion Cynthia, and I am tired of it. I just spent the past couple days off and on grinding up a new team, as you can see in the layout. We got them up to level 60. I refuse to train past level 60 for this game. It takes way too much time, and it is ridiculous the game's expecting you and asking you to train up to be such high level, when the highest Pokemon you can fight in the area are like level, what, 47. You're not gaining a lot of experience off of those Pokemon the higher up you get. So, this will be the final attempt at the Elite Four and the champion of the Sinnoh region. And who do we have working with us on our team today, you might ask? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Let's show you the team that's going to win. These are some previous uh, league champions as well. First of all is Blaze, our Charizard, holding the Razor Claw. He is quirky, often lost in thought. He has a Blaze ability, and the moves are Flamethrower, Dragon Claw, Fly, and Slash. Another reason I'm going to stop doing the grinding is because grinding's annoying. Okay, first of all, I don't know how many Graveler we had to encounter that I had to run away from because I cannot risk the explosions. So, so much time wasted on those things. Another thing, Slash has a high critical hit ratio. In fact, you know what? Right on screen. Has a high critical hit ratio. I can't tell you how many times I didn't get criticals when the opponents got criticals with regular attacks. So, a bit of annoyance there. Anyway, moving on. There's a gym across the street. Sprout, our Venusaur, is up next, holding the Meadow Plate. He is relaxed, yet quick-tempered. He has Overgrow ability and the moves of Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, Toxic, and Leech Seed. Next is Sheldon, our level 60 Blastoise, with the Soft Sand item. He is Calm, highly persistent. He has Torrent with Surf, Ice Beam, Earthquake, and Bide. Next is Rocky, one of our actual initial six team members from back in Kanto. He is our Sand Slash holding the Hard Stone. He is naive, impetuous, and silly. He has the Sand Veil ability, boosting evasives in a sandstorm. He also has Dig, Rock Slide, and Seismic Toss. Next is Fluffy, our Dragon Slayer from Gen 2's um, Elite Four battle, champion battle. She is our Clefable holding the Quick Claw. She is sassy with good perseverance. She has cute charm ability and Ice Beam, Metronome, Calm Mind, and Moonlight. Last but not least is a powerhouse hitter on the team, Machamp at level 60, holding the Fist Plate. He is an adamant natured Pokemon, which is excellent for a Machamp. Special attack down, physical attack up. He's highly curious and he likes spicy stuff. He has Guts for the ability, very nice, and Strength, Vital Throw, Dynamic Punch, and Earthquake. All right, let us now fly on back to the Elite Four. Is it even, what do they even call us here? Is it, an, do they have a name for the city-ish thing? What is it? There's Pokemon League? Okay, like in Hoenn, they had Evergrande City, which was basically just a Pokemon Center outside a cave. But anyway, since we have spent way too much time fighting the Elite Four already, prepare for a speed up montage as we dive on in.
This game is utter garbage. I am done playing Pokemon Pearl after today. You cannot believe. If you watch that speed up montage, I am done. Pokemon Pearl is taking a hiatus after this episode. This is not worth it. I am disgusted by this game. Can't even give me the dynamic punch. Okay. Did you know, for some stupid reason, Metacham can survive a fly attack from a Charizard? That's right. That can happen. Ridiculous. There is no excuse for what this game is doing. In fact, you know what? Now that we've defeated this jerk of the Elite Four, I am reviving my team. I do not care. These playthroughs have to move on. I am not losing three times to this game. Sick of it. Shot your face, Lucian. All right. Take a moment to recap here. Do I have any revives with me? I probably sold them all. I did. Thank you for watching today's episode, folks. If you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a like down below. Check out some more Pokemon Pearl episodes in the playthrough in the link in the description below. We're done. Have yourselves a good day. Professor Chaz is signing off. We'll catch you next time. Admittedly, I realize the problem with this game here is that they're expecting you to not be doing a Nuzlocke. You know, it's like, there are no wild Pokemon to train up to be the proper levels you need to be to deal with these people. However, if you're not doing a Nuzlocke and you can afford to take knockouts, you can fight these people multiple times. So that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to grind up, I'm going to have to let myself get defeated by the champion because that's simply going to happen and gain experience that way. So this team I'm using, that's the team we're going to be using to defeat the Elite Four overall. I don't care if it is cheating, I don't care if it breaks the rules of the Nuzlocke, that does not matter at this point. I've already lost the Nuzlocke anyway. Who even cares anymore? Look, you, yeah, you got Psychic, whatever. Okay, go ahead. Psychic, it's not going to do anything to me. I am a Venusaur. You have no special attack. But would it not be something if we can pull through this still? Yeah, like, and we were on pace to defeat Lucian with only losing, I don't know, a couple Pokemon. You gotta love random critical hits that break through your plus six special defense that you have set up with your calm minds. <sighs> I'm just waiting for a critical psychic. That's all that has to happen now. Now, we do have Giga Drain. We can heal up. I'm not going to risk getting a critical hit, though. I'm going to go with a Hyper Potion. Oh boy. The cool thing is, I don't know if you folks are even seeing this footage right now, because if I lose, the video ends where I ended it off just a moment ago. If we do manage to win though, oh boy, that'll be something. So I know we have a Milo Tick, I believe it had Ice Beam to deal with. There's Gastrodon, which Sprout can easily handle. There is the Lucario. We know she has Garchomp. I still don't even know what her sixth Pokemon is. Trying to think back to when I fought her again in Pokemon White. I don't know, we might find out if I manage to get past some of these Pokemon here. So yeah, Giga Drain is the best move. It does not resist that. It does resist Sludge Bomb being Ghost type. So let's dish out a little bit of we have the Meadow Plate on him, I think. Something like that. A Grass type boost. Oh wait! Oh wait! Okay, first oh wait was in reference to the fact that they're going to now full restore. Second oh wait was in response to the fact that note the leaf seed and poison takes it down. So, Sprout can't do a whole lot to the Lucario. He can do much to the Milotic, surviving he can, or assuming he can survive some ice attacks. But I believe Machamp is the best way to deal with Lucario. Now it does have Psychic, but if we're lucky, he can do something. All right, what did you have again? Now we got Psychic, Dragon Pulse, that Flash Cannon, I believe. I'm gonna play the long game here a little bit. I'm gonna go for a Leech Seed. There's your Dragon Pulse. All right, we're gonna Leech Seed you first of all. We're gonna heal up if we survive this Dragon Pulse, which we're going to do. 
easily enough stuff. <sighs> boy, oh boy. I can't believe the random garbage this game throws at you and expects you to accept it as fair. Granted, I mean, I guess admittedly it's kind of fair. But still, it doesn't feel like it when you've gone through two to three days worth of grinding. Guess we can't use items. But you've gone two to three days worth of grinding to get to this point, only to have over half of your team decimated by one opponent. One opponent. Nowhere near enjoyable. Oh, that's not even a critical hit. That's just how much you just standardly naturally do. Okay. Well, I guess now we're going for the uh, potions. They're going to go for Psychic. Doesn't matter. We're going to lose Machamp. <sighs> I have no more words to say about this game. As I say, well, you're probably not even seeing this footage. If you are. I'm going to go through multiple times, defeating the Elite Four, gaining experience off of that. Ah, oh, we lived a Psychic. Interesting. And once we are, like, level... I'm going to say we're probably going to go to level 70. I want to destroy her utterly. I'm going to train to level 70. I will throw the matches and leave the Elite Four come back in if I have to. This is garbage. This game is trash what it throws at you. How's your day, folks? Other than this, my day was going pretty decent. So we survived, I think, with 60 HP. Based on that, we will survive a Psychic. I'm going to go ahead and, since we're slower anyway, I'm going to Vital Throw. Now watch this. Oh, they Earthquake instead. Okay. I was going to say, watch, do they happen to go for Psychic and happen to get a Critical? I would not have been surprised if that was what happened. The Garchomp could be an issue. Our main check against Garchomp would have been Sheldon, our Blastoise with Ice Beam. Actually, Fluffy, our Clefable with Ice Beam, would have been good as well. Of course, we happen to lose both of those Pokemon. We are two Pokemon through the champion. That's your last one, is it? Roserade. What would you have against a Machamp? Actually, you know what I kind of want to do? I want to see if I can pick up the Guts Boost. I'm going to heal Ho or Hyper Potion first. Oh, I should have used Full Restore. See, if I can get the Poison Point Poison on me, that'll boost my attack stat. But if I Full Restore, that'll heal the Poison. You just happen to have a Psychic-type move, though. And bear in mind, folks, that I cannot Leech Seed or Toxic this thing. <sighs> I just chose the right time to end this video. You don't quite know the rage that I'm feeling right now. I don't know if I can even explain the rage that I'm feeling right now. Look at this. Look at that critical hit. Are you serious? <laughs> Critical sludge bomb. Should technically survive another one.
can't even gift us with a critical hit, can you? Well, let's see that full restore there, Cynthia. At least we can use items again now. It's a glorious day outside. I could be out enjoying the day, not dealing with this. I could have saved myself so much time. All the grinding that I did, I could have just not done any of it. I could have gone and had fun. I have not even eaten breakfast yet because I thought this would be a quick finale to the Elite Four. I am hungry. I am annoyed. I am frustrated. I hate what this game does. I'm waiting for my special offense to fall. Would you give me one critical hit to take this thing down, please? Anything. Nope, they're gonna get a critical hit. Never mind. I'm not gonna jinx anything. I'm just gonna wait and let it all happen. Alright, at least we took down Rosary. Did you guys just see that? You guys just see that? See that critical hit that I got when I didn't need the critical hit? You see that? Yeah, I saw that. They're not going to give me a critical the rest of this fight. They're going to say, hey, we gave you the critical hit when you wanted one. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. All right, Milotic. Let's see what that Ice Beam can do. Or do you have Blizzard? I can't even remember. Leech Seed. Let's see what you got. We got Ice Beam. Is that a knockout on our Venusaur? Slim chance we might be able to pull through this. Because we know the Gastrodon should be no problem. A Giga Drain takes that in. It's the Guard Chomp we're going to worry about. I don't even know what attacks it has. I'm thinking Dragon Rush. Probably Earthquake as well, which is neutral, so that's probably going to take us out regardless. i got to try to make sure my health stays up. Take out Milotic. So yeah, Giga Drain is gonna do that for us. My only hope is also that maybe she leads or she brings in Gastrodon next, so that we can get a full heal off of it with Giga Drain before Garchomp hits the field. Because if I can get the Leech Seed or the Toxic, I'm gonna say probably Leech Seed is the smarter move. If we can get that on it, then it's just a matter of waiting out the attacks. It might be doable. Never mind. There's a Mirror Coat. I think that's it. I, f I feel like, I don't know. I should watch other people that have done Nuzlocks of this game. To just see. What level did they train to? What did they do to get them through this game? So I've done whatever. I think that I've done everything that I can think to do. Other than drive myself crazy grinding up to like level 65, level 70, something like that. You shouldn't have to do that. Shouldn't that should not be a way to play the game. I guess the real way you're supposed to play the game is anyway, using revives and stuff. So I like, I would gain levels and train Pokemon up as I go through the Elite Four. I just don't know. 
there was a raid boss hatching at that uh, the new gym across the street. Oh, by the way, that thought does not help me anymore. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, there was a raid boss over there. I was planning to go take it down as soon as I completed the Battle of Cynthia. It's probably done now. It's taken this long to get through well, Lucian, first of all. What even is it? Is it still there? Oh, it's gone. Yeah, okay. Apparently the, uh, the grinding and battling took a lot longer than expected. Also, if people stop feeding my Pokemon, that'd be great. I've got 50 coins waiting to come back to me if people would let him just come back. Okay. So since they might mirror code again, it's going to waste a turn with Toxic. Let's see what they go for. Let's go for the ice beam, okay. That wasn't even critical. So Aqua Ring Restoration, but the Leech Seed pulling through. Toxic are gonna bring it down. So I I haven't been paying attention, but I guess that means we are faster. Which means our Giga Drain should drop this thing. And we'll heal up after that. I will be actually honestly super amazingly surprised if Sprout can pull this off. He will become the most massive MVP of all time if he can stop Cynthia's reign of terror. There's the Garchomp right now. I was hoping to be at full health. Okay, level 66. Does the video continue? Or are we simply walking away from this farce? Wow, okay, we handled that. We got the leech seed off. I don't want to jinx it. I'm feeling renewed hope in this attempt, this endeavor. I don't want to get my hopes up. We're out of super potions. Okay, we got full restores though. <sighs> now, so we see Earthquake as I expected. Dragon Rush is probably going to be a thing. Earthquake is the stronger of the two, I believe. Would you have Fire Fang by any chance? There's Dragon Rush, which does have that chance to miss. So there is that going for us. I believe it's 100 power, I think, but only 75 accuracy. Might be getting that confused with something else, but maybe Iron Tail. Alright, let's get that Toxic fired off. If we can get through this Dragon Rush. Wow! That's power. So a critical of either that or Earthquake, I think, does drop us. I'm gonna keep doing the, uh, the potion game for now. Oh, I'd rather full restore. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. It's like... At this point of this part of the video, I'm thinking, does this even make it into the video, or am I done earlier? It's like, if I don't win, I'm not showing this part of the video. It's going to be a waste of everybody's time. So, like, well, I don't know. We'll see. They go for a brick break, which we resist. They get a critical hit. If you had not gotten a critical, I believe we would have... Uh, he'll back to full with the uh, Leech Seed. Thank you, Garchomp. Wow. What an amazing creature you are. Yay. I'm going for the Giga Drain right now. That ain't Stab. So I believe Earthquake was technically more powerful than that Giga Impact. Plus, we have a turn to uh, waste as they have to recharge. That might have just cost Cynthia the championship. They have to recharge. We can now Giga Drain again, and the last Pokemon is going to be Gastrodon. I feel a smile creeping up. I don't want to... Nope. Stay down. It's not time yet. I'm going to keep frowning until I win this. They can't use items, I don't think, either right now. They must recharge. No. Stay down. The corners of my mouth are creeping up a little bit. So 
not over yet. I feel like the AVGN right now. With that scowl going on. <sighs> and now I feel like a jerk because assuming we do manage to take this thing down with a Giga Drain, I had so much dead air in this episode just out of sheer frustration. You're put in a corner, alright? Whatever you have to say. Good. <laughs> it happened to live with that tiny bit of HP! Are you serious? Regardless, we win anyway. I'm gonna sludge bomb it first of all, take that little sliver of HP out of it first, then we Giga Drain. You guys, I'm glad I have this footage recorded now. See, I was gonna, like, I was gonna continue the fight off camera and let myself get knocked out because two Pokemon. How was I supposed to win against Cynthia? Right here, you can see. But like, I'm glad that I still continued the recording just in case we managed to pull through because you got to see that a water ground type surviving a metal plate boosted Giga Drain from Venusaur two levels higher with like one hit point. I honestly thought I had a Focus Sash when I saw it stop at one hit point. Oh, the frustration. Now behind us, we are the Sinnoh League Champion. You can read what she's saying. I'm not going to bother until we get out of the battle. I am shaking out of frustration. And now, I guess, giddy not even giddiness. I'm not giddy. I'm happy it's done. That was excellent. Truly an outstanding battle. You gave the support of... You gave the support your Pokémon needed to maximize their power, and you guided them with certainty to secure victory. Yeah, I beat with two Pokémon there, Cynthia. I used to say technically one, because Machamp didn't do too much. You have both passion and calculating coolness. Well, I wouldn't call myself cool right now. Together, you and your Pokémon can overcome any challenge that may come your way. Those are the impressions I got from our battle. I'm glad I got to take part in the crowning of Sinnoh's new champion. Come with me, we'll take the lift. So I guess... These all do count as injuries in the Nuzlocke, which is acceptable. So we have one surviving team member. Sprout pulls through against Cynthia's pretty much whole team. The room ahead is the Hall of Fame. Chenars, your last battle was splendid. The other two sucked. Thanks, Rowan. Oh, hello, Professor Rowan. Huh. The child I enlisted for my Pokedex project has come this far. It's only natural that I come and witness this child's crowning glory. Chaz, I shouldn't call you a child anymore. You've grown into a real champion on your third try. Professor, you still enjoy the enthusiasm kids bring to your research, don't you? Chaz, step this way, please. Professor Rowan, I need you over here as well. Why him, though? I don't get that. Like, they say that they need the professor. You've never needed the professor before. They just happen to show up. Eh, whatevers. It's been a long while since I last entered this room. If your last time here was when I became champion, then yes, that would be quite a long time ago. Chaz, welcome to the Hall of Fame. Your names, mine and Sprouts, will be recorded for posterity here. What you are leaving are the memories of your adventure so far. It's time to record your names, you and your Pokemon. Remember, your Pokemon are partners that grew with you through many challenges. Challenging battles, whatever. Machimoli, permanent, whichever, even, whatever. Okay, good, we're done. <sighs> so, now that we've completed the championship, the easy part of Pokemon Pearl is now done. There is post-game. I am honestly going to take a break from Pearl for a little while. Because I'm going to need to get another team ready to roll. Because really, I wouldn't feel right using these guys. Now that we've made it through the battle, I'll have to accept that they have been taken from us. Boy, this is a lot of editing for this episode. Not looking forward to that. But it is what it is. So, with that, we have completed the championship. We have completed the main story of Pokemon Pearl. Thank you for saving my game. I appreciate that.
Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the long struggle that we were on this entire time. Why are you taking so long to save? I don't like that. Thank you. Let's check out the credits as I roll on home. Also, I got a message at one point. I'll check that in a little bit. I am busy. It's my friend John. Hi, John. Don't know if you're watching this or not, but I'll get back to you in a moment as I relax and accept the peace that comes with finally getting through that game. I tell you, when I saw that I had no revives to just get through that, well, you probably saw. That broke me. <laughs> See, I was just like, I was up here thinking, we're at level 60, we can get through this. And then Lucian brought me right down about, well, can't see my hand, but right about here. And then when I realized I am just going to give up and just beat the game anyway because it is not fun, I was like, I'm going to revive. I get my full team back up, no revives. Now you can't see the hand because that's how low my spirit sank. Now I'm up, eh, maybe about here or so, having completed it. What are your fondest memories of Pokemon Pearl, folks? Let me know down in the comments below. Ignoring this playthrough, let's talk about my original playthrough. I guess some of my favorite memories of Pokemon Pearl were... Well, I like the contest. I've always said I like the ribbons that you can get. My guys do technically earn ribbons now for beating the champion, which is kind of cool. But yeah, the contests were cool. I don't know if I liked them better than the ones in 3rd Gen. The Hoenn contest had more... I don't know, more of a competing kind of a thing. Oh, wait, let's see if I can name all the Pokemon. We've got a Turtwig, we've got a Chimchar, we've got a Piplup. I'm way ahead of the game. Uh, but yeah, the ones in Hoenn were more like you're competing against others because you can use things. Oh, wait. Okay, there's Sol, the uh, Weavile. Shelly, our Happerty. There's Skippy, our Swampert. We never saw you. Well, we didn't catch We caught you. See? Wait, these are Pokemon I own. So we have Bidoof, Ninjask, Blissey, Manectric. There's Smarty, our Noctowl, Stinger, the Beedrill, Snoozer, and Dozer, our Snorlax. Okay, I like this. There's our shiny Zubat, Barbara. I see Shelbert, our Squirtle, Keaton, the Heracross, Guar, the Primeape. So many memories. There's Sheldon, the last one. We saw Fluffy. We saw someone else we couldn't even see. If you saw who that was, let me know in the comments. But other fond memories I had were... I like the fact that this was Wi-Fi compatible first games to be able to use Wi-Fi, you know, online gaming, trading and battling and stuff. And for the longest time, I kept trying to get some of the ribbons you could only have gotten from the Wi-Fi, what was it, you call it, Battle, was it even Battle Tower? I think it might have just been Battle Spot back then. If you reached certain ranks, you would gain uh, ribbons for your Pokemon. Now, I never did manage to achieve that goal, because that's some pretty competitive competition you got in the online gaming, but... As a more casual gamer, I just accepted the fact that I'll just get all the ribbons in-game that you possibly get. Wait! What's happening to that cloud over there? Wrong way! That cloud over there! It's Pikachu. Are we going to see Pikachu in the uh, little silhouettes? Maybe. <sighs> but, if you guys had stuck around... Oh, there's Pikachu even better. If you had stuck around for this entire video, thank you. I apologize for getting so salty. I do like salt on my food, so I guess you are what you eat. As I said to uh, someone the other day, I am basically a big old salty turkey. I had turkey leftovers and salted it up. That's a whole random point you don't need to know about. That's making me hungry. Let's not even talk about food. I gotta get something to eat soon. <sighs> I started grinding. What time? 11-ish, I think? I started early. Finished the grinding. That took forever. Then went to the Elite Four. That took... Uh, way longer than I wanted it to, but it's over. We're not coming up on a city in the nighttime. Do you even ever use a light in the game? I don't think you do. It's one of those, you know, friction generated, or what's it called, kinetic energy? One of those lights that you can generate power while you're riding the bike, and I've never had one of those before. I've never used them. I understand it adds more tension or friction to the pedaling, but I mean... Get your leg muscles powered up. You can handle that easily. There's the city. Is that my home? Is that... What is it even called here? Not Pallet, not New Bark, not Little Root. Is it Little Root? What's my hometown called here? Twinleaf? Or is that something else? I don't know. Finn. This game is Finn. <sighs> Quite happily so. Let's pop in and see that ribbon, shall we? 
Uh, actually, there's probably going to be some post-game stuff. You know what? No, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pop in because I do want to still harvest berries up for post-game, which I will do kind of sparingly. I'm going to take a bit of a break. All right, hang on. Let's go downstairs. Hang. Well, first of all, everyone's healed up. We know that's not the case. We're going to check the sprout summary. Wrong way. There it is. I was like, uh, what? Ribbon awarded for entering the Sinnoh Hall of Fame. Machamp has that technically as well. Everyone else has it. Oh boy, that was an ordeal. Three ordeals to be precise. So what's happening here, Ma? What's going on? I knew it. Something else going on. Chaz, Evan came looking for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he was shouting about you needing to get on a ship at Snow Point City. You know how impatient he is. He was gone before I could ask. Anyway, how's it going, kid? Is your project with Professor Rowan coming along? I guess. Alright, where's Evan at? We gotta go see him in town, in his house, or... Can I just... Is he in Snow Point City? Because if he is, I'll save that for later. I'll see if he's here at the house, though. Because I can just do my berry harvesting off camera. Evan took off like a rocket as usual. Shouting about coming Grace Trainer. Can't sit still. Whatever. Okay, so he's not here. So that is going to be a wrap for today's episode. Sorry for the fake out earlier, but I was pretty much at my wits end. But we have finished it. Thank you, folks, once again, for those of you that stuck with me during all of these trials and tribulations. Hopefully you enjoyed the ride as much as I did. No, hopefully you enjoyed it a lot more than I did. Let's say that. Anyways, with that... If you want to see the rest of the episodes of Pokemon Pearl, there's a link in the description to the whole playlist. If you enjoyed our conquering of the champion and becoming the new champion of Sinnoh, you can always drop that like button down below. If you didn't like today's episode for some reason, I would say probably my saltiness. There is the dislike button. You're welcome to pop that down as well. I don't like pandering for likes and all that stuff. So like, dislike, whatever you want to click, you're welcome to do so. Leave any comments you want to leave on this video for maybe congratulations. Let me know what your favorite memories of Pokemon Pearl were, or even Diamond, or Platinum, actually. And maybe we'll do Platinum on the channel someday. I'll save that for another time. But if you want to subscribe for some more regular Pokemon content from Professor Chaz, you, of course, are welcome to do so. Just check the, uh, not check the link. Just click that subscribe button down below and get some more regular Pokemon content, including live streams featuring TCG Online, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, Wi-Fi battling, Wonder Trade days, all that good stuff. I am now going to grab some food and relax. Thank you folks again for watching. Professor Chaz is now mellowed out, signing off. I will catch you next time.